So we're in a studio here in Van Nuys. It's our buddy Drew's spot, and we pretty much trying to capture our live sound on this album. We're trying to make sure that what we come across as on stage as a cohesive band really gets captured on the record. And that's just the goal of this whole process right now. It's just to jam out these songs, keep them basic for the most part to start out with and let it be built by the band as it goes. So, you know, the songs are written for the most part, but structure-wise and, you know, in terms of us laying the foundation for everything, this is the, this is the time when we do it here in pre-production. Style-wise, I just really think that we have not been able to capture what we sound like live. We just want to deliver that experience. Yes, it'll be in the studio. Yes, you know we have the ability to really put some time into it and make it sound great. But we want it to be live. It has to be raw. It has to sound like us. And I think that so many bands get into the studio, so many artists, everybody, and you have so many tools and the ability to mess around with so many different tricks. And sometimes you lose focus of really what the core of your sound is. And I think that I've you know, I've experienced sometimes we're like, dang, we, we sort of missed that one, where this time around, for the most part, we're nailing everything, I think. Um, it's really staying true to, to who we are. I mean, the sound that we're going for is a mashup of pop rock, which I, you know, I guess is the root of what we sort of do, mixed with hip hop influences and a little bit of, you know, that reggae vibe. Um, we're just trying to come up with unique sounding songs, songs that might be acoustic guitar driven, but maybe the second verse is more hip hop based, um, and vice versa, you know, more of a hip hop track that, that maybe has a little bit more of a reggae feel, and all of the above, but I think all the songs are written on acoustic guitar, so that's got to be the center of it, and then we have the ability as a band to sort of, you know, spice it up and add certain ingredients that make it different. I mean, all, all, all three guys in the core of the band bring just tremendous perspective from three different areas. You know, we have a drummer that can mix and produce and loves pop music, loves, you know, the, the, the pop arrangement of songs. We have a keys player that, you know, is classically trained, but, you know, grew up in this, you know, 80s, 90s, you know, era, so he gets that type of music and then, you know, really understands the vibe of, of today's more synth-based music, um, even though he's really like a 90s music fan. And then Will on bass, I mean, he's just an incredible bass player that, you know, listens to everything from, Motown stuff to rock stuff to gangster hip hop to super pop singer songwriters um, and they just bring their own element each guy individually to each song which is just great and that's the way that I think it needs to be for this album to be a representation of what we sound like live. We're looking to release the album middle of July as of now everything's on track um, we have you know we have some good time to spend really making sure that it's right and there's been times in the past where you know, we, I've been a little bit rushed you know just touring schedule all of the above but this time we really laid out enough time and there's no real set 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 date that we have to be done so if it takes a little bit longer then it takes a little bit longer you know if we can finish it when we plan on finishing it then it'll be great and we'll really have some time to, to sort of sit back and make sure that the songs sound right in a live setting so we can you know get out on the road and start playing those. Back again, you got me running back, you got me running back again.